Hello, welcome to the video. In this video, we solve exercise number 5-4. In this exercise, start and I with S4, 9.1 inter-arrival time and all times are in minutes to an unload area that has three doors. The first start arrive at time 0 and the unload time are triangular distributed for each of the door respectively. If there is an empty door, the truck proceed immediately to that dot. Assume zero travel time to all dots. If there is more than one empty dot, the truck place preference to the higher number dot like 3 to 1. If all the dots are busy, it choose the dot with the minimum number of truck waiting. If there is a tie, it place preference on the lowest number dot 1, 2 and 3. And note that uh, in by condition decide module, the tests are done from top to bottom and the first one resulting in a true sent to the entity out through that corresponding exit point. So run your simulation model for single application of length of 20,000 minutes and plot the statistics as precise below. Okay, so let's move to the arena home screen. So here is our model. First create the entities using the create module. So after inserting the create module from the basic process panel, rename it as the create truck arrivals and the entry type is truck and time between arrival is random as well, 9.1 minutes and click OK. Then insert the decide module, but before uh, adding in decide module, we need to first define the rest of the module flowchart. So after adding the decide module, first add the assign module and assign a dot one as the name of the assign module and type uh, for the assignment is entity type that is unload add dot one. So here actually I am going to define the entity type for dot one. Exactly same for the dot two and same for the dot three. So using the assignment module, I'm defining the entity type for each of the dot one, two and three. Then use the C's module for CZ the dot one. So rename it as C's dot one and add the resource dot one. Same is the case for dot two and dot three. Then unload the dot one with delay time of triangular distributed with its parameter value of 25, 28 and 30 minutes and click OK. Exactly the same procedure will be followed for the rest of the unload uh, dot 2 and unload dot 3 for delay modules. So again insert the delay module and rename it as unload dot 2 and delay time as triangular distributed and units are in minute. Exactly same procedure is followed for delay module of unload dot 3 then release the dot 1 and add the resource dot 1 under this resource panel to release for dot 1 exactly the same procedure is followed for release dot 2 and release dot 3 then exit the system Okay, now let's move back to the decide module and rename it as decide if dots are empty and type n way by condition and the first condition expression is number bz and r for dot 3 is equal to 0 then 2 and 1. Remember in the precise stats problem the higher number dot 3 to 1. So that's why here 3 come first then 2 and 1 and then click OK and then use the connect to connect the connection between the decide and the assign module of each dots so first one is for dot 3 second one is for dot 2 and last one is for dot 1 and under the else module add an other decide module and rename it as the decide if dots are full and add these two condition that is already shown here if the number q under c's dot 1 q is less than is equal to c's dot 2 q and c's dot 1 number q is less than is equal to c's dot number 
3. So if this condition is true, then connect the first node to the dot 1. If this condition is not true, then check the second condition if the dot 2 number q is less than the dot 1 q and number 2 dot q is also less than or equal to dot 3 q. And if this condition is true, then connect this setting link to the assigned dot 2. Else connect to the assign at dot 3 module. So this condition are actually precise in this text problem. All right. So for animation purpose, move to the and resource animation. And under this resource animation, um, for dot one, made the or use this symbol for dot one idle and busy state. Exactly the same uh, identifier for dot two and its picture ID for dot two and dot three. Okay. So this one is the Q length for each of the dots and then move to the entity spreadsheet and change the entity type as picture dot thread and capacity of each dot one to three is one and the two type is first in first out move to the run setup and replication length is 20,000 minutes and base time units is in minutes and number of replication is one and then click ok and now let's run the model ok so here you can see the model is working perfectly fine so let's fast forward it to view the stats ok so here you can see the total time for dot 1 2 and 3 is given 164 145 and 132 and the number waiting at dot 1 2 and 3 is also uh, given average number is 4.8 for dot 1 4.49 for dot 2 and 4.16 for dot 3 and the time for each of the dot 1 to 3 is also mentioned here and the resource utilization for each of the dot is 0 0.97 0 0.96 and 0 0.95 for each of the dot 1 2 and 3 respectively so that's it